Welcome to Think Alive. We're Sharon and Andy, just two people with a dream and a vision of restoring our traditional stone-built farmhouse in southern Spain, transforming it into a beautiful off-grid home and sharing our journey with you. Good morning everyone, welcome back to The Finca. Um, not so sunny southern Spain um, today. Although it is brightening up, the sun's peeping through. We had a little bit of rain overnight. I'm um, hoping to get the roof on this today, um, but we weren't sure if we we're going to be able to because it's forecast to rain all day and be really bad all day. Um, but it's brightening up nicely. Um, Sharon's still in the UK, but I'm coping, um, fending for myself. Um, all the animals are fed, watered, walked, etc., etc. And um, I've been to pick up the roofing sheets that they're going to put on here. Um, I'm going to put the same cementaceous board on that we put on the stable and on the generator cover um, which I can cover with the normal tiles in the future um, should I so desire. Um, I had a right struggle getting them in though, these things are heavy. Fortunately, um, Chris from Tales from the Caveside has kindly volunteered to come and give me a hand today because there's no way I'm going to get them all through here and up there on my own, not easily. These are the boards in question, um, two of them. Uh, they're 2.5 metres long, just over 8 foot, by a metre wide, just over 3 foot, and um, pretty hefty things. I got them in the trailer on my own, <laughs> um, but um, I'm, I'm not even going to start to try and take them out and get them through the gate and negotiate the sleepers and get them onto the roof. So that's why Chris comes in to help me. Thank you so much once again, Chris. Um, you're a star. So I'm just going to get everything ready. Um, get some ladders in place, one a big one at the back, get these in a position to be lifted off and um, as soon as Chris gets here we'll be cracking on. Right, so the ladder's in place, um, that's the top of the roof on the back side. Um, so one of us can get up there and help to manoeuvre them into position from the top, while the other one's at the bottom. I'm not envisaging this being without any problems. Um, it's not square, you'll be surprised to hear. Um, the top is 50 millimetres, about two inches narrower than the bottom. Um, we've got some flexibility at the wall. I'm going to flash it up to the wall using sand and lime, which we may be able to do a bit more on the old lime on the brickwork because it's not forecast to be that cold overnight for the next sort of week or so at the moment. So maybe we can get on a bit of that as well. Um, so we'll just have to throw them up there, dig them about, see how they look, get them somewhere near and then fix them in place. So normally you'd fix these panels, these are the same ones, through the, the raised up bit, straight through into the into the timber underneath using, if I can get one out um, these big nails with um, uh, a washer, a ceiling washer on the top so there's no water can get in through your holes um, in this case I'm not going to use the nails because I may need to remove them to do the stonework in the future so I'm going to use equal size 
screws to screw them down with using the same washers and um, then if I need to pop them off or to move them in the future a couple of screws in each one and um, slide them over move them out of the way and um, thinking ahead sort of thing if you ever do something like this don't put your screws in the valleys um, because obviously the, that's where the water runs you've got more chance of leaking by putting them on the the crests shall we call them, I don't know what they're called um, the water kind of just runs away from them better you don't get any leaks at all little finger tip for you another top finger tip it might be it might be obvious but check the screws that you're using these are a posi number three um, drive so we need to make sure we've got a posi number three in and that's not that's a number two so we'll go and get the right one and um, they're going to take a lot of driving in those because they're long and thick and heavy so we want a perfect bit brand new one preferably as well that'll send them home hopefully first time without any messing Right, okay, so there's our number three big fat posi drive bit. Um, he goes in there, pops in the end. Um, normally with the nails, you just hammer them straight through the boards. They're so strong, um, they don't crack, they don't shatter, they don't break. But obviously you can't hammer a screw through. So we're going to pile at each one. The screws are six millimetres, which is about a quarter of an inch-ish. So we're going to use a seven millimetre bit. Um, to drill through then we can send our screws in so we've got our two drills ready I think we're all ready so we'll just wait for Chris now so while we're waiting for Chris I just want to say we've actually got an Amazon affiliate account now um, took a bit of setting up but it works on a worldwide basis so we're going to be putting links in the description um, for any products from time to time that we use that we think people might be interested in Mark actually suggested this thank you so much Mark um, because he's bought a lot of stuff um, from the back of watching our things so keep a look out for them um, we'll try and mention it in the video we can't always remember um, but yeah if there's anything we do use that you think is great and you'd like to use yourself we will try and put a link to it in the description down there so anyway let's crack on right look who's here it's Chris Tales Ooh. from the cave side Ooh. if you've not watched it I'll tune in it's a good day for Chris today because it's cloudy and he's a cave dweller. Not only, <laughs> <laughs> not only did he did he buy a, a cave and need a renovation, full renovation. He bought two, <laughs> and a, a, a thinker as well that needed doing. So yeah, been busy. He's taking time out of his busy schedule to come and help me do these two because I could not get them up there on my own. No. So shall we crack on, mate? Yes, we shall. Let's do it. Yes. It's nice to be out in the daylight. <laughs> <laughs> right, so the, the panels are outside in the trailer and we've got to open the gate. And little high speed Alfie here, he's so fast at getting out, he runs off. Um, he doesn't walk anywhere, he just sprints everywhere. Don't you mate? So we need to put him upstairs out of the way. Right, so here we go then. Crikey. Oh, oh that's cement fibre. It is. Right, if I go here then. Yeah, tip it on this side. Easy, won't it? Okay, to you, to you, to you, <laughs> to you, to me. Ah, <laughs> oh, the outfit, the, the outfit. Yeah. Stop. Okay. How far? Um, just stand it on the wall, lean up on the wall, next to the roof. Oh, yeah. Vertical if we can. Stand it up your end. Stand it up if we can. Um, this way around, actually. I think I've got it. Okay, you got it. this side. Stick it to your left. That's got it. One down, one to go. Indeed. If I just stand it up there now, I'll have my hands up. Yep. That's got it. It's not bad, right, Swing your side in. I'm trying not to break the. Uh, I don't know, not this You're not, not great. Weak. <laughs> It's alright, it's yep. not going anywhere. No. Right, okay, so what we're going to do, um, I want the right hand edge 
lined up as best as possible. So we're going to put that one on first. This raised upside we want against the wall and the same a raised upside on that end as well. I'm just going to shift this one out of the way and then try and manhandle the next one. <laughs> the next one. We're clear there, yeah? Yep. Are you ready? Yeah. So we're going to manhandle this. Yeah. Get it up there. this side. There. Yep, that side on the right hand side. <coughs> and this is the top. Yep. Got it smooth. Prettier. <laughs> smooth. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, right. So we can slide it up to a point. It should should take pivot. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. That's it. That's going to work better. Get it on the wood rather than on the wall. That might be. Oh, push. That's it. Throw to the left a little bit. That's it. Can't see. So you're the eyes. Yeah, I'll go inside and try and do it from here. Because this is easy. Right, okay. Yeah, I'll lift. Yep. Alrighty. A bit more. Right, hold it there. Yep. Ah. Down. <laughs> I'll go up there and um, see what I can do with it. Do you, yeah, if we move this over enough, it might actually, it might be just enough room for this to drop down. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. That's the plan. <laughs> right. You ready? So, yeah. Ah, just not enough. Not quite. No. But, can we cut a bit out of it, do you think? Yeah. Hello, boys. <laughs> Are you as far that way as you need to be? Fraction if we can. Bit to you. Yeah. That'll do it. That'll do it. That'll boost. Yep. Hold yeah. it there a sec. Right, so if we if oof, you mark here. Yeah, if we just uh, knock that out. And there, that'll just drop it how he needs. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Right. I'll get the pen. Right, so we're going to try and cut it with the angle grinder. I've got one of these fancy ceramic diamond cut everything discs, which I'm going to stick in, and then it should be fun. I've never actually cut um, cement edges yeah, board before. Yeah. So, we'll pop this one out, pop that one in, go and take our pen and see if we can do anything with it. Hopefully, we can cut it in place as it is, but I doubt it. Now, okay, pen and tape in hand. I'm going to mark it. We're going to try anyway. See how much we need to come off it. We actually want to sit over this beam in the highest bit there. So that's me marked that way. Um, so, let's have a look. Um, from there. Right, so I've kind of figured it out, I think. Um, I'm just I'm going to try and cut it up here, but I'm just going to slide it forward a bit. Right, well, that needs to be you can sta stabilise it because you yeah. don't want to slide. Right, um, a bit, bit, more? bit more, mate, please. Perfect. Oh, you got <laughs> it. Come on, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll reposition the ladders. <laughs> Done the safety equipment. Yes, indeed. One of the dangerous ladders. And um, let's see what we can do. Bravo, let's try that. 
Awesome. Now let's give it a show up. <laughs> right to you. Right with that, I think. I'll see if we go up there again. Nice. <coughs> yeah, then if you cut it, it needs to come back to me. That's it. That's got it this side. Alright. Yeah, perfect. Excellent, excellent. Happy days. Right, okay, so I've got that perfectly in line with the wall. Like I said before, I'm going to build that wall up with stones and lime and stuff so it's flush with the edge of the roof. So that should look pretty nice eventually. Now we've just got to do the other side, which I, I suspect is going to be a little bit more problematic. But I think we'll get a couple of screws in this first, just to stop it twisting. Right, so I've marked where my first hole wants to go. Just I'll hold this steady for you. Just yeah, it makes it going to move, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I'm just going to ah, pile it through it, drill through it, hopefully we're in the right spot. Take the hammer off. <laughs> yes. Put that one up there. I'm just using the mason rivet. absolutely smacking the beam. I hit the wood, did I? Yes, you did. Oh, look at that. Alright. Yep. Now let's get it in. Max talk. <laughs> That's it. Lovely. Look right, we'll get one in the top now. That is not good anyway. Do that for a second, and then I can. Right. You're doing the same. Yeah, this one. Okay. I'll look along the beam then. How does it look? It looks pretty alright after that, doesn't it? Yeah, Go yeah. On the wall, is it alright on the wall? Alright. Yeah. Do a slight, a slight tip. I can't see. Um, I do a dangerous uh, leaning manoeuvre. That's it. I got it. Just yep. there. Super. In we go. That's got him. Fantastic. Excellent. That's it. Is. That's the only way that's going somewhere is if you just pull it off on purpose. Yeah. Right, so this is a moment of truth now. Hopefully we can get this up to the edge there. That edge was more important for me to cover. I can do something with this after, but if we can get it as close up to the wall as possible, that'll help. So we do it. Alright. And we go to you a bit, we'll slide it on top of that one. To about and this and then we can yeah, and then yeah. we can just I'll go up there and we can move it yeah. across it. Okay, you do. Right. You ready? And away. Push. Oh. Uh, no. That's it. Okay. Right, I'll run around there. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me when you're ready and then I'll push it towards you once you've got yourself all stable. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Turn me. Towards the wall now. 
Not bad though, is it? Right, should we try and roll yep. it over? Yep. Put your fingers. And again. That's it. Look at that. <laughs> Send me a bit. Oh, you better see your end anyway, won't you? Yeah. Right, I'm coming back. And there you have it. Well, then when the plan comes together, that's it. There's only a tiniest little oh, bit of light fantastic. coming in. Fantastic! That's fantastic. That's perfect. Actually, that covers the wood. Happy days. Right. Okay. So let's get some fixings in it. Um, we have one in here which will be centre. I'm just going to measure up to the to the joist. Again, 60 point, six, six, seven. <coughs> I'm holding on to your ladder, so you can your ladder. <laughs> one in there, and then we'll do this one while we're at it. They're not going to be the same because it's not square. Six twenty five. <laughs> Alrighty. Just drill the screw. This is floor, isn't it? What's well, on my floor? It's Chris size than my floor. <laughs> <laughs> this is not level. Right our first one. We've got to go through two here. <laughs> Screws. Uh. Uh, straight down. Uh, a little bit towards me, away from you. There. Now, if you twist it a little bit that way. Yeah. That way. I'll go there. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I can't really help you with that one because I can't see the square on. I'll have to do the. Yeah, you're there. Up and down. Is that all right? Yeah. There we go. Fabulous. That's not going anywhere. That one right in the centre. Early enough, I think. Right, two more in the top now. Stay, stay. Oh yeah. All right. It works. Smashing. Uh, 
Now, if I was nasty, I'd have nipped round there and quick and moved the ladders. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I could slide off the front. <laughs> Maybe. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Alrighty. It's a beautiful morning on the Finca this morning. Um, T-shirts already. Um, it's going to be a fine day, I think. Very happy with this, the way it's turned out. Already put it to use. Um, our almond wood that we used for the barbecue smoker is in there already. Um, it all needs clearing out. But the good thing is, we're forecast um, the next week or so, um, lows of double figures, basically. 8, 9, 10, 11 degrees Celsius. Um, which is fine for doing the the line. So hopefully I'm going to get on with these walls a little bit and get a bit more structure into it. But there's another job I've got to do first. So right at the top of the land, um, they're quite exposed up here, and the the track goes past there, and um, you can kind of see, and it's, it's exposed. But we've been gifted um, six oleander plants um, from the roots um, that I want to plant across there which will give us a beautiful spread of um, colour um, through most of the year actually. I know it might obscure our beautiful view a little bit but we don't kind of take advantage of that view that much anyway because we've got it all around us in every direction. So the first thing we want to do is try and get these in because we don't want them dying even though it is pretty impossible to kill. So let's have a go. Right, that's the first one in. This is going to take a while. Um, before anyone comments, yes, we're aware that it's poisonous or the sap is poisonous. Um, don't worry, we're on it. Three down, three to go. Um, it's going to be a great little hedge that, and it's properly fertilised as well because I'm topping them off and burying them in um, donkey manure. There we go, we have a hedge, hopefully it'll all survive, I'm sure it'll sort itself out as time goes on. Now it's time for a rest. There we go, hopefully that'll blossom and flourish into a, a beautiful, colourful hedge um, for most of the year. And um, we love the oleander, it's so pretty. Um, if any of you saw the courtyard videos when we were started digging it up and putting these massive stones down, if you remember, we disturbed a family of toads, um, and I'm happy to say that the toads are still alive and well, and um, much bigger than they were um, before. So that's good news. We have seen them a couple of times. There's a little picture of them, of one of them that we saw. Alfie found it last night. Um, so yeah, that's good news on that. The toads are still with us. And on that note, that's me done for today. Absolutely waxed after digging six big holes for the oleander. Um, I'll be back on, what day is it today? I can never remember what day it is, what Thursday. I'll be back on Sunday. Um, hopefully we're going to get some more of this um, stonework done. It's forecast 
rain they say this we, we get a couple of millimeters at a time um, but at least I'll be able to work on the inside getting that other wall consolidated fingers crossed as I said the temperatures aren't going to be too bad overnight for at least a week or so um, and if the days stay like this which they're not forecasting it'll be fantastic so thank you so much for watching everyone um, thanks to all our subscribers if you've made it this far please consider subscribing to the channel and follow our antics and um, thanks to everyone that supported us we couldn't do it without you and we'll see you on Sunday